The federal government says it is working to create the enabling environment to unlock opportunities in the digital skills market in sub-Sahara Africa, valued at $130 billion. At a dialogue in the National Digital Literacy Framework in Abuja, Minister of Communications, Innovation and Digital Economy Boson Tijani says his biggest challenge in Nigeria's digital literacy target is not access, but illiteracy. He said access to technology that drives digital technology and its application is becoming cheaper and accessible, while the country now have content with tech literacy. For us to drive the prosperity that we actually want to see in our economy, it is important that our people are digitally literate. By being digitally literate, it means that as the innovators help to diversify our economy, as they come up with solutions that can increase productivity, that the average person in our economy can actually participate and use this solution. For those that have been following uh, the mandate from our president, it's been very, very clear that his agenda is to drive in Nigeria where development is inclusive. It's about developing society for all, not just for a few people. And if you're going to develop for all, if you're going to develop with technology, but most people are unable to be part of it, there will be a big challenge for society. There's absolutely no nation today that can be prosperous without prioritizing the use of digital technologies. Digital technologies will change and is already changing how we farm. Digital technology is changing education, is changing transportation. Think of it, anything you can imagine in society is being fully disrupted by digital technologies. Director General of the National Information Technology Development Agency, NITDA, Kashifu Abdullahi, said government is focusing on empowering Nigerians with digital literacy to be part of the digital economy and to close the digital literacy gap. He stressed that the National Digital Literacy Framework is to create an industry that will train people and unlock the market. The process will be participatory involving the private sector civil society, organizations, and international partners. We want everybody in Nigeria to have access to digital literacy because in 21st century, digital literacy is a must-have skill. Before, we used to call those who cannot read and write literate, but today, literate, illiterate, I mean, illiterate are those who cannot use digital devices because anything you need to do today you have to use these digital devices. The policy has set an ambitious target of 95% by 2030 and Honorable Minister has set a mid-term target of 70% by 2027. Therefore we need to work towards achieving the mid-target then the long-term target of 95%, which I believe is doable. National Assembly members at the event also promised legislative partnership to achieve the National Digital Literacy Project. Every time you look at a thousand miles, it starts with one step. The step today is moving us in a direction where anywhere in this country or all around our locals that people can have the basic knowledge needed you know, to function in terms of digital world. For people like us, we have all the skills, we're technologists, we know what to do. But in order to bring all of our people together, technology can drive that. There's no reason for us not to work together. We must work together, we must have to our name that in these next four years, the history, the narrative of IT will be different in the country and all of us working together will be able to achieve that. Lastly, I'd like to also say that we will provide all the legislative interventions that are required. I've met with the Honorable Minister and I've also met with the DJ Nida alongside with my brother and we've agreed that digital literacy is not just going to be talked somewhere as a, just another item in the NIDA uh, budget uh, line. We will ensure that this program, this initiative, gets a distinct and sufficient budget to get it rolling. We are committed to doing that.
innovation and lifestyle, please like, share and subscribe to this channel, www.youtube.com slash